All right, a very good afternoon sa lahat ng ating taga-subaybay dito sa The Nori Uy Experience. And this is a podcast exclusive for Radio Gamu. Dito po yan sa Mabini Gamu Isabela. And it's been a long few weeks na tayo po ay wala uh, dahil po ang ating mga kasamahan dito sa studio ay nagpakasarap. <laughs> sa, nagpakasarap sa Kalamba, Laguna at saka sa San Mateo Rizal. Ayan, walakpakan natin ang pamilya ni Kuya Philip, si Ate Lea, si Ate Sophie, and si Kuya Sai. Ayan, so ngayon sa hapon na to, Kuya Philip, you know, with this uh, program that we have, the Nori Uy Experience, we try to feature lahat ng klase ng tao kasi nga, it's the experience that we are gonna be talking about. And uh, lahat naman ng tao may kinikanya experience eh, di ba mga kababayan? So, bawat tao may sariling kwento at bawat kwento kapupulutan ng aral. Yung magagandang kwento, that is. And so, nais nating uh, in- imbitahan yung mga nanonood now, if there are any live viewers right now, pwede po ninyong i-share itong ating broadcast. At uh, later on, sa YouTube, mapapanood nyo rin po itong broadcast na ito sa The Nori Uy Experience sa ating YouTube channel. And supportahin, supportahan nyo na rin yung ating YouTube channel. Para nang sa gayon, eh, sumikat din yung ating YouTube channel. Di ba, Kuya Philip? So, sa hapon na ito, ang ating guest ay isa sa pinaka-busy, pinaka-masipag, pinaka-maganda, pinaka-matalino na babae na aking nakilala. Oh, isa sa. Oh, ibig sabihin, marami naman yan sila. Pero she's really one of the best talents that I've ever worked with. Uh, she hosted... One of you cups show that eh, yung uh, Christian music fi- uh, top songs of the week, and also host din po siya ng uh, ibat ibang programa ng CBN Asia, and hindi lang yon. Siya din ay uh, uh, part ng super book. Sikat na sikat yung super book with Philip. Kung hindi ka familiar yan, eh, medyo alanganin ka. Ah, familiar. Okay. Ayun. So, wag na natin patagalin pa kasi itong kausap natin ngayon, napakaganda ng kwento at napakaganda din ng kanyang timetable. Kaya, atin ang ipasok. Walang iba kundi si Sheena Lee. Ayan. Ayan. Sheena, sorry ah. Sorry. Sheena, sorry to cut you off. Uh, meron lang natanggal na kable dito. <laughs> uh, sa mga kaibigan, ang ganda ng sinishare ni Sheena, may natanggal na kable. Ngayon yung boses niya, hindi lumalabas dito sa... Sandali lang po, magbabalik tayo. Mabilis na mabilis lang, Sheena. Ha? Diyan lamang po kayo. Mabilis na mabilis lang. Thank you po. <laughs> Nagbabalik at isang pasensya, pasensya. Alam mo kasi Sheena, kami ay galing sa biyahe. Galing kami ah. ng oh, galing kami ng Laguna. Ako galing Laguna, si Philip galing San Mateo. Galing nga siya ng bakasyon eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, tapos uh, yung mga nasa live po, paki-sabi nga kung uh, okay na po ulit yung kay uh, yung kay Sheena. Kasi in, yung isang kable natanggal, hindi masyadong dumikit. So ngayon, dinikit niya. Okay na. Lumalabas na. Okay Ayun, na. very good, very good. Ngayon, kadadating lang namin kani-kanina, di ba? It's a 10-hour uh-huh. drive from Manila, Sheena. Ito kung nasan kami ngayon. Yeah. Sa so, Isabela kayo, no, kuya? Mm. No. Oh, yan ang hometown ng daddy ko, eh. Nakalimuta ko lang kung saan. Ay, talaga ba? Mm-hmm. Sa Isabela. Na, ilukahan na ka din pala. Oo, oh, 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 yung daddy ko. Mo, may connect pala tayo. Marunong ko mag-ilokan, ah. no? <laughs> Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> Nakakasad kasi hindi ako naturuan ng daddy ko mag ilokano kasi sobrang busy niya. Ayun. Lagi kasi siyang abroad eh, nasa abroad. So I wasn't able to learn. <laughs> uh, saya, haya mo. Minsan, pag ikaw ay nalibre, imbitahan ka namin dito kasi yung, alam mo, ang ginagawa namin na isa, bago natin balikan yung question kanina sa'yo, ang ginagawa namin mm-hmm. na isa, Sheena, is yung events na ginagawa natin dyan sa Manila, uh, mga Christian concerts, mga ganyan, dinadala namin dito. Kasi oh. alam naman natin, di ba, yung kadalasan ng mga ng body of Christ na nasa mga 
paligid na Maynila, especially malayo sa Maynila, mm-hmm. they can seldom attend. So, yeah. ang ginagawa namin, yung, yung uh, activity, yun yung nilalapit ngayon namin dito. So, that's what we're doing. Yeah. That's oh. good, kuya. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kaya ngayon, balikan natin ang katanungan kanina na hindi narinig ng karamihan. <laughs> ang tanong po natin ulit ay, sa background sa family ni, ni Sheena is, sila mm-hmm. ba ay talagang inclined into the media industry? Ayan. Yeah. Actually, kuya, yan. Uulitin ko po ali. Um, nung bata po ako, we're not really in media. I just saw my brother being on gigs, kanyan, singing for the people, or most likely yung sa, sa, sa school. Sa school niya, tapos nakikita ko siya and I was uh, in on. Parang, oh, uh, ang, ang galing-galing ng kuya ko, ganyan-ganyan. And then, sabi ko, I, somehow, parang dun ko nakita na I really want to be a performer like him too. Mm-hmm. So, um, dun ko kasi nakita kuya, like what I'm saying kanina din, na when people hear the the music, mm-hmm. it is like an experience. Like, mm-hmm. na it make people, ay, it can make people smile or it can make inspired. Mm-hmm. Um, this uh, which is music mm. it's um it's life changing kasi mm. nakikita mo na merong merong effect yun sa tao mm. and for me as a gospel singer uh, as a gospel singer songwriter hindi lang hindi lang ano one time event or one time experience lang yung binibigay natin sa kanila but mm. it's actually an experience that will last for a lifetime Mm, and that's 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 what makes me uh that's what makes me keep uh parang going on every time and it's my inspiration na nakikita ko na merong merong buhay na nababago because i am sharing the gift that the lord has given through music and yun yun yung ano ko kuya yun yung aking take with it wow <laughs> eh, nabanggit mo yung alam mo kuya Philip ang kuya nito Ichichismis ko, Sanday, magmamarites ako. <laughs> <laughs> ang, ang kuya nito, Kuya Philip, kung hindi mo pa nalalaman, siya yung bagong sweetheart ni Donita Rose. Okay lang ba? <laughs> Sina, bin, binanggit ko na. Oh, eh, nasa, nasa Everyone balita knows naman. naman. Nasa balita yeah. naman eh. Oh, Everyone knows naman po. Opo. Matin, matindi, yeah. matindi ang kuya nito. My new ate is uh, Ate Donita Rose. <laughs> ang, ang kuya mo at saka ikaw, both of you are really into singing eh, no? Tapos recently, yes. di ba, you were awarded or nominated ba? Doon sa yes isang po, prestigyosong uh, award-giving body. Yes po. Uh, dalawa kami uh, ni Kuya Felson sa Asia Pacific Luminaire Awards. Yeah. We were given as most remarkable host and talent in Southeast Asia wow. or Southeast Asia, something like that. And we are so, si Kuya Felson po is an international performer. Parang ganun po yata yung kanyang award. Mm. And we are so grateful with the award-giving body that they recognized us na na nakikita po nila yung ginagawa namin mm-hmm. at yung uh, yung puso namin to uh, to share the gospel yeah. to share the gospel to people yeah alam mo ang isang bagay na isang natutunan ko sa isang kaibigan ganito sabi niya in gospel when you mm-hmm. preach 30 minutes 1 hour ang, ang tagal di ba tapos sa sobrang dami yes. ng information minsan hindi mo na naaabsorb lahat Pero mm-hmm. in music, you only sing for five minutes but the messaging is so deep. Tapos may emotion pang kasama. Kaya sabi nila, mas effective yes. daw yung Kuya Philip yung ano eh. Yung, yung music, music as a way mm. to preach. Tama ba yun, Ate Sheena? Yeah. Yes, that is true. Kahit nga po, di ba kay David, uh, when, when he prays, uh, David sa Bible po, when he prays and when he sings sa Lord, it it changes his heart. Hindi lang po siya nakakapag sa ibang tao, but mm. it's actually resounding in heaven because the Lord loves music. It's uh, it's changing souls talaga. At saka pati sa, sa iyos, ako po personally po yan, mm. Nori, whenever I sing, hindi lang ako, um, hindi lang ako kumakanta para ministeryo ang ko ibang tao. Kumakanta mm. din ako para ma-ministeryohan din ako para mag-change din yung perspective ko. Sometimes mm. kasi the, the music itself it changes you. Hindi yeah. lang siya yung hindi lang siya nakakapag uh, doon lang sa ibang tao pero sa you din. 
Mm-hmm. So, yun yung sobrang thankful ako din sa gift ng Lord sa music because it's just not for the other people, but it's also for you as well. Yun, napakalalim, no? Pag ganyan ng kwentuhan, parang, sige na nga. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, alam mo, sabi ko nga eh, uh, you know, I'm always so proud of people who are, uh, you, you know, they are sane uh, day in, day out when it comes to their faith. Uh, kasi, you know, let's face it, you know, especially in mm. media, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ang hirap siya na, di ba? In media, yes. especially you, kasi mainstream yung pinapasok mo eh. So, how do you keep mm. this sanity intact despite all the odds sa larangan ng media? Alam mo kuya, tama ka dyan. Mahirap talaga. Kasi when you're in media, all eyes are on you. Mm-hmm. And kapag nagkamali ka lang, it's hard to get back on your feet again because naka, nakatatak na sa yun eh, yung, yung pagkakamali na yun. Pero ako po personally, I just want to let uh, people know na kami pong mga nasa platform, tao din po kami. Diba? Tao din po tayo. And it's, um, it's good to shed light and to shed love mm. to other people, especially na yung parang yung sinasabi nila na wag mo na tayo mag-judge. Kasi mm. hindi, hindi ibig sabihin na nasa platform ka at nakikita ka ng ibang tao. Mm. Perfecto ka ng tao. Ako po personally, Kuya Nori, I do make, make mistakes. Mm. But uh, what's good with uh, with the gospel uh, with the gospel side po, ako po personally as a Christian, mm. I know my identity in Christ. And my identity is Christ. So that's, um, that's very important to know as Christians that whatever people may say about you it doesn't matter because mm-hmm. what matters is what the lord will say to you so if if the lord says that you are uh that you are forgiven you are forgiven if the mm-hmm. lord says you are loved you are loved and the 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 voice of the people is just a voice it's just a clang uh, parang alam niyo po yun, it's just a noise but if you if you know who you are if you know your identity in christ you will listen to you uh, to that identity and you will you will hold on you will mm-hmm. be strong you will be encouraged and inspired to keep on moving forward and mm-hmm. mostly kuya nori itong mga storya natin bilang bilang mga kristiyano mm-hmm. this is what makes other people be inspired mm-hmm. this is what make other people be encouraged that there is no perfect people but there is only a perfect god mm-hmm. So yun yung I I'm I'm very encouraged with that um with that word na talagang we only have a perfect God. We we are not perfect. So yeah. ito yung ito lang yung gusto ko i-share when it comes to media ko ya kasi talagang ang hirap-hirap especially yun nga uh, lahat ay nasa lahat ng mata ay nasa iyo. Parang ibang level kasi ng ano eh no ng uh, magnification pag nalaman mm. nilang Christian ka para bang times 10 yung level ng magnification na binibigay sa iyo na parang bawal magkasala, bawal magkamali, parang ganoon. But nevertheless, ang ganda nga nung sinabi mo na you know, lahat naman ay hindi perpekto eh. So if you look at me, matitisod ka talaga. But yes, you know, look on look unto God kasi si Lord lang naman ang nagbabago ng lahat. Yes. Opo. Tsaka also Kuya Nori, kung, kung malalaman po ng mga, ng mga tao po uh, or yung mga listeners po natin na ito pong platform na binigay sa amin ng Lord sa media is just a gift. The Lord can give and take away. Mm-hmm. So kung hindi na po kami gagamitin ng Panginoon, pwede niya pong tanggalin yon and we're good with that. Mm-hmm. Pwede niya din po ibigay yon ibalik ulit. So uh, sa amin lang po, bilang krisyano na nasa media, huwag niyo po kami huhusgahan bigla. <laughs> pero <laughs> pero ang, ang, ang prayer ko lang po, eh, more than you see us, you see, you see who we are doing it for. Um, Di ba po, Kuya Nori? Na parang huwag niyo kami tingnan kasi we're just representation of of who are of who we are working for. And that ayun. is God. Or that is Jesus Christ. Ayun. So, yun, Kuya. Sina, sa, <laughs> sa, sa buong karera mo so far, no? Sa mm-hmm. media industry, what has been, or has there been, baguhin ko yung question. Miski ako nalito eh. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what you know now, mm-hmm. media yeah. media wise, no. Knowing what you know now, would you change anything? 
Ah, uh, wala. Wala kuya. Hmm. Maybe uh, I will improve more. In my in my time management, Ganun? ako personally. Oh, oh, I will improve more in my time management. Hindi ko yeah, may I. Pa minsan may nagsislip pa din ako eh. Pero ako personally, um, knowing what your priority, being a Christian, your priority only uh, always. Bago yung work mo as a media person or as a personality in in public or public personality, your priority when you are a Christian is to be a Christian first. So, doing your devotion, that's first. Mm-hmm. Doing your devotion, being at church, having a fellowship in church, that's your ultimate priority before you be, uh, before you you are a performer or before I am a Sheena singer ganun, mm-hmm. or Sheena songwriter. Because my life or my life revolves in the spirituality that I am in. So, yun po yung aking kuya. Sabi ni, ano, sabi ni... Arnel Albesa. Ay, hi kay Arnel. Oh, nasa Taiwan daw siya. Mm-hmm. Oh, grabe ang spiritual maturity na ginawa sa iyo ng Diyos from youth days pa. Personal na kilala mo yes. siya. Yes. Yes, Kuya, mm-hmm. Kuya Nori. Si Kuya uh, Arnel is one of the leaders that I have when I was in youth. Oh. Sila yung mga san, nag-guide sa. Saan ka ba nagche-church na? Before po, I was attending uh, Church of God, but right now I'm with Lifehouse, uh, Lifehouse Family po, or Lifehouse Church dito po sa Pasig. Oh, okay. Lifehouse. Ang ganda ng pangalan. <laughs> Lifehouse. Iyon. Sabi ng isa naman dito, uh, ah, Meron daw ba, meron ka daw bang bagong song na paparating? Siguro naubos na yung pagkakapakinig niya dun sa mga songs mo. <laughs> kasi di ba normally Actually, normally kasi ganun, di ba? May may factor na pagka napakinggan ka once, tap, they will be looking for additional or you know, upcoming songs. Yeah, upcoming hmm. songs. Opo, meron po actually uh, may dadating po ang Sobrang tagal po kasi ng, ng production itself. And more than that, Aha. I'm also working. <laughs> Parang uh, bongga itong parating ah. <laughs> praying po na sana ano, maging... Pero meron pong collaboration with uh, with my Kuya Felson again. Wow. And um, opo, it's actually, ano kuya, it's actually um, a children's song that oh. I made for my nephews and nieces. Para, kasi every morning kasi we are praying. Sa, mm. Sama-sama kami every 7 a.m. in the morning. Mm. And yung mga kids, parang it's too deep pa sa kanila yung prayer ng mga, mm-hmm. ng mga adults. So I made a song for them that they can sing along. And then I made it like a duet. Uh, for me and my brother. And then, yon Possible na ma-release siya this year. Hopefully, this year. <laughs> this year? Parang ang haba pa ng this year, ah. May this year, oh. Na Nasa ba? quarter naman na tayo, kuya. Opo. Anim Pero in production na siya ngayon, ah, kuya Nori. Ah, na. Yung huling release natin, what that was, Yahweh Live, no? Yes po, Yahweh Live. 2021. Mm-hmm, last ano year. 2021. Opo. Oh. Oo nga, oo. So, yun yung, yun yung ginagawa mo ngayon na song? Yung parang pang... Yes po. Oh, okay. Uh, part din po kasi siya ng thesis namin somehow. Thesis. Yung thesis kasi namin sa music production po is uh, be able to uh, release songs mm-hmm. na from our composition and arrangement. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, yun po yung medyo... Lahat po ng production plan, kailangan um, nakalagay po yun doon. So, yeah. <laughs> Ayun. Huling dalawang tanong. Uh, paano daw ang songwriting process ni Sheena Lee? Songwriting process po, ako po, ano, <laughs> nagde-devotion muna ako. Tapos after ko po mag-devotion, from the word that um, I meditated on, doon po ako gumagawa ng lyrics pero most of the time, um, with my process, uh, it started with the melody. And then after po ng melody, um, when I sat down po sa aking piano, I'm, I'm just 
doing some mel- melodic lines, chords, mm-hmm. ganyan. And then, mm-hmm. lumalabas na po siya. Tapos, nilalagay ko po yung mga devotion ko. The reason why I am putting my devotion in in that melodic line is because I want to be reminded of the Lord's word to me and mm-hmm. uh, that I can share to other people that encourages me. So, yun po yung aking songwriting process. Mm-hmm. And hindi po ako nagbabawas, hindi din po ako nagdadagdag. Mm-hmm. But, um, dun po sa word ng Panginoon. But what I'm Uh, putting there kapag nagdadagdag po ako is my experience. Mm-hmm. Just my personal experience. But mm-hmm. more than the word of the Lord, hindi na po. So yun po yung aking um, songwriting process. Yun. <laughs> Another one. Um, what do you think is the challenge na kinakahara? Kasi you are a, sayo nga, gospel singer-songwriter, no? Mm-hmm. Ano ang pinakamalaking bagay uh, na kinaka, or challenge rather, na kinakaharap ng isang Christian songwriter, perf- singer, dito sa ating bansa. Kasi alam natin sa ibang bansa, uh, walang variance halos yung Christian versus mm-hmm. mainstream artist. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, yes. we know for a fact that mayroon. So in your personal experience, what is the biggest challenge of being a Christian performer or artist? Uh... Personally, kuya, I had an experience of um, parang ano ko, parang commissioned ako to do the lyrics uh-huh. for a melodic line uh-huh. na i-release para sa isang Christian artist. And um, when I when I gave the the lyrics to that uh, melodic line, hindi nila nagustuhan uh-huh. because it was my experience. And um, Mostly kasi ati uh, kuya Nori yung Christian ano kasi uh, yung Christian lyrics itself um, you cannot add like what I've said kanina mm-hmm. you cannot add and um, magbawas ka sa word ng Panginoon mm-hmm. and um, yung ibang ta- ibang Christian kasi or inspirational mm-hmm. paminsa kasi na na mix nila yun eh yung Christian at saka yung inspirational magkaiba mm-hmm. po yun yung inspirational is encouraging you Christian Christian or gospel uh, songwriting mm-hmm. is about the good news or about Jesus Christ itself so that's that's uh, himself po that's mm-hmm. that's the reason why we have gospel songs mm-hmm. inspirational songs is just motivating you of be m- more be more uh, be more happy be more strong parang uh, be be strengthened parang mm-hmm. ganyan so uh, yun pala ang ang gusto pala nila is inspirational hindi pala gospel hindi gospel so yeah so yung uh, having having the having the, the the identity of that two two meanings inspirational and gospel is a different thing. O tignan mo Pero bago yung, education sa akin ito ngayon ha. Para sa akin yung kuya, <laughs> kuya Nori. Pero sa ibang tao kasi uh, pwede pwede nilang anihin yun. Sa akin po kasi magkaiba siya. Pero pwede niyo siyang pagsamahin. Mm-hmm. Ang gospel po kasi is uh, can be inspirational too, but you cannot you cannot take out the name of Jesus Christ in the gospel song. Mm-hmm. Nagigets niyo po Sa akin po yun kuya Kasi mm-hmm. gospel itself Is the good news Of Christ Of mm-hmm. Jesus Christ mm-hmm. So if you want to hear Just the good news Go to the inspirational But if you want to go to uh, If you want to listen to A good news About what Jesus Christ Has done for you mm-hmm. and me mm-hmm. That would be the gospel And that is you Yes and that is me yeah. I only sing about Jesus Christ and what He has done for me and you. Aww. And I can also sing inspi- inspiring songs that can motivate you, that, um, that, um, that is inspired by mm. Jesus Christ, but the name of Jesus Christ is not there. Ayun. Ay, so, Kuya Philip, yun. ha? Na-take note mo ba yung maganda ito? <laughs> workshop na ito? <laughs> workshop. <laughs> Hindi, kasi ako, personally, Sheena, pag sinabing Christian artist, I somehow generalize it. Na mm. Christian, maayos yung lyrics, tunog Christian, you're Christian artist. Pero yes. uh, now, kumbaga medyo may, mas may categorization today. Eh, na, oh, mm. ano, mayroong inspirational part at mayroong gospel part, which is kamukha nung yes. Yahweh. Uh, yes. uh, talagang, oo oh, okay. nga naman, oo oh, nga naman. Grabe. Yeah. So, oh, thank you. Pag, pag, naki, pag nakita niyo po kasi yun yung ganun, mas madali, sa, mas madali po sa atin mag-rule out ng mga songs na that will not 
um, talk about Jesus Christ. Hmm. So, yun po yung act. Yun, yun. So, Sheena, salamat ha. Number, unang-una, number one. <laughs> unang-una, salamat for saying yes. I know you're, you're very busy. I know you're doing a lot of things. Pero salamat for saying yes to this invitation. Uh, kasi la, yung kwento, as I've said, yung kwento mo, the sharing that you did, just very brief man yan. But I know a lot of people would be able to be inspired by, by your story. Uh, sa susunod, sana next time kasama natin ang kuya mo at saka si ate Donita oh, Rose. Ma. Opo, opo. Oh. Hoping, hoping po. Schedule natin sa susunod na isa sa mga, mga three Wednesdays from now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oy, sa Wednesday si Johan. Ay, talaga po. Oh. Wow. Oh, ano din yon Kuya Philip? Tum- tumipi ito rin ang boses nun. Oo, oh, grabe yun. Tenor kasi siya, oh. operatic po yung kanya. Oo, oh, oh, oh. ayun. Yeah. Sina, anong uh, aabangan ng mga tao sa'yo sa iyo sa CBN Asia or any concerts coming up? Yes po. Actually, um ngayon po I'm hosting uh, Ask Gizmo Pilipinas that is always um ang time slot niya po ay lagi na sa first week of of the month. So mm-hmm. ako po next week. Ah, ito, ito po, meron po kaming Ask Gizmo Pilipinas on Thursday and I hope po na ating mga bata you can tune in, you can ask po kay Gizmo well uh answer it ano po ng live so I, I'm hoping that our kids na nanonood o kaya po yung mga mommy, mommy and daddy na nanonood ngayon you are encouraged to ano po ikay, kayo po kung gusto nyo po mapanood ng mga bata ang um, Ask Gizmo Pilipinas and also po um, Superbook po is going around or meron po kami mall tour oh, na tinatawag na Gizmo on the go yes yeah. po yung Gizmo on the go uh, we are go, we are um hopping by sa mga mall tours po sa mga malls uh, Robinson's Place Malls and um, nagsishare po kami doon ng gospel nagkakaroon po kami ng cinema ng viewing ng ating mga episode and there are a lot of acti- activity booths na pwede pong ma-enjoy ng ating mga batang super book and ako po ang alam ko po this week po yata this weekend um, Gizmo on the Go will be in Pangasinan Yun. so uh, malayo po, I'm hoping po din <laughs> opo malayo <laughs> pero I'm hoping po na sana maka-join po kayo and also oh, uh, kailan kayo pupunta ng yes. side ng kag- Gayan Valley. Yun nga po eh, hoping pa po kami, praying pa po kami sa mga oh. ano invitations po ng ating ano ating mga Christian friends. Ah. So, yun po. Pwede uh, natin po. dalhin dito yun. Yes A- po. Alam mo, alam mo pwede, pwede. this August, ito, ipipreempt ko na kasi just a few, kahapon lang, no? kahapon natin kausap sila, Kuya Romel at Susan Guevara. No? So, dadalin namin yung usapang worship kasi dito by August. Oh, wow! Ipipreempt ko na siya. So just wow. last last May, uh, if you are familiar with Butch Charvet, nandito naman si Kuya Butch, uh, biyaheng simbahan. Mm-hmm. So yun yung ginagawa natin na uh, slowly, kasi alam mo naman ang probinsya, di ba? Uh, yes, kung hindi yes, mo po. dadali ng event, talagang hindi nila malalaman. Hindi sila makakapunta. Okay, yes po. Okay, hanggang okay. TV or hanggang Facebook na lang sila. So mm-hmm. what we're trying to do is to bring the events here uh in collaboration with uh, the event owners yung ganun. So maybe maybe let's talk about ano. Kausapin sino bang kinakausap diyan si si Sir Iko ba ang kausap diyan? Yes, si Kuya Iko po. Yes, Kuya Iko. Sige, sige, kausapin natin si Kuya. Sige po. Kay Kuya Iko isang magandang hapon sa iyo ha. Nasa Poland yata <laughs> sila ano. Opo, sa Poland. Nap- napunta po doon si Gizmo. Usually nasa Japan, sa so Poland. Oh. Hopefully, makapunta din po kami sa iba't ibang bansa to share the gospel through uh, Hindi ka ba pupunta ng Poland? Show. Hindi po. Ay- <laughs> Dito lang po muna. Medyo busy pa. Medyo busy pa po. <laughs> ayun, ayun. Anyways, thank you very much for your time again, Sheena. And uh, we Maraming hope that po. in the future, hindi na lamang sa TV ka nila mapapanood dito sa ating area, dito sa Isabela. And I hope that they will see you in person next time. Yes po, Kuya. Anytime. The, I will make time for ano, for our events there sa northern ano northern part. Invite nyo lang po ako. Sige po, isi-schedule natin. Oh, yan. Yeah, mga kababa. <laughs> Salamat ng marami. Sheena Lee, ladies and gentlemen, panoorin po ninyo ang kanilang mga shows sa CBN Asia and also follow her Facebook page, Sheena Lee. Maraming salamat and God bless. And we'll see you soon 
at sa atin po lahat na nanonood dito po sa The Nori Uy Experience. Again, has been a wonderful, wonderful program, wonderful episode with the uh, ever amazing Sheena Lee. And next Wednesday, uh, not next Wednesday, this Wednesday, Johan Enriquez at 3 p.m. Kasama naman natin siya. So we will talk about his also, his music, his advocacies, his beliefs in life. Tapos, uh, kailan si... Uh, sa July 20, ito isang abangan nyo. July 20, yung aking kaibigan, the EVP of the Philippine Star Group, si Lucien Di Tioco, will be on board. We'll talk about business and politics. So, eh, medyo pumupuliti ka tayo eh. <laughs> Sina, sinong binoto mong presidente? Panguling question. <laughs> Panguling question, Ping Lacson ako kuya. Ping Lacson, sayang na. Actually, first choice ko si Ping. Kaya lang, Ping eh, we, we know how it is you know, with the politics that we have. But nevertheless, we support the winning president, si President Bongbong Marcos. We pray for his uh, ano, success. Kasi sabi nga nila, the success of the president is the success of the nation. Yes. Uh, I won't keep you for long kasi hahaba na naman ang kwentuhan natin. Salamat, Sheena. God bless. Salamat Thank po you po. Bye-bye. Stay safe. God bless everybody.